Hello everyone. How are you doing today? We're doing our little nightly as we do. How are my beautiful little kids going, huh? Hopefully, awesomely, indeed. So, yeah, thank you. So, for anyone new to this channel, this is an all signs reading. So, if it resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game after all. Just remember, it doesn't work. You don't believe in it. Or maybe it does. You never know. You just gotta boop your nose and find out. Right? And if you want a personal reading, you can hit me up on either Instagram, Facebook, or my email. And I prefer my email, but you know, whatever works best for you. First readings on the house and everything costs a little bit extra afterwards. And I always accept tips and donations. Thank you very much. Mmm. Someone has dreams of being big top right here. Look at that. It's just like, I am awesome. And it's like they know their worth, it seems like. Or they're staring at that cup thinking and dreaming of how awesome they could be, right? So that's who we're, that's the current we're reading for today. So gather around, kids. I'm going to see what's up. That was a really quick song, surprisingly. Huh. Oh, I might check that. So, let's see, everybody. I hope y'all doing all right. Today has been a crazy fucking day. You know, not for me, just for everybody who was in the vicinity where I could see their, see them, see their face. Like, crazy shit. Like, is someone I know, six uh, pentacles up here, uh, just crazy tasty shit, man, really, like. Stuff I wasn't really expecting, and the way it came out was just kind of like, I was really glad I wasn't there. But it was like everybody was getting shit today. Everybody. Six of wands. Two sixes so far. That's what they're doing, why they're doing it. Right? Right. I don't know. It was just like, it, it was like I was watching madness happen. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's in the drawer over there. Let's see. The star, communication, possibly Aquarius. That's the thoughts and feelings. Someone wants to communicate or reach out. Love you. Mm. And some risks that did not pay off, possibly. That's the root of those thoughts and feelings right there. But yeah, it was just... Okay, Satan. Whatever. Don't... Okay, I'll stop sassing. This light is, like, so crazy. Hold on a second. Because, like, the plug keeps coming out and I don't know why. There we go. Okay. But, yeah, it was just a crazy day today. And I was actually quite surprised. And I don't know. It's like the moons and all the... Like, the timelines have definitely shifted. And in September, those timelines are going to close up. So a new one's going to open and it's just like, it's like everyone's timelines are just, it's, I, I can't explain it except it's like, I don't know. The Hydrophant right here, it was kind of like, um, it's like all the shit that's been happening throughout the years has finally accumulated and come back around, you know, um, you know. I, I like to say a leopard never changes its spots. Ten of swords right there. And it was just kind of crazy because it was like three of wands. It was just like it took some time to see how things came out. <laughs> and then it was just kind of like, oh, I'm not surprised by this at all. You know, people be running their mouths and shit, pretending to be cuddly when in reality they have like ugly intentions. Uh, people being under pressure and their emotions being driving them nuts, right? But the wheel was turning and now somebody's indecisive. Or people are just don't know what to do in order to, you know, cover those onions they let flop out of the ground, right? The vibration for this person, they got what they wished for and they got the baggage that came with it that they were surprised in getting, okay? So... But yeah, I was like, I don't know, it, it, it's, it's been a weird accumulation for me. It's like, uh, 
I wasn't expecting so much shit about people to come out today the way they did. And it's like, holy fuck, could you imagine if they, if people knew exactly what I fucking know about shit? Oh my god. You know? Like... Mind you, um, a lot of Capricorns, for people who don't know, a lot of Capricorns have a lot of shit on people. Those people just don't know it, right? Capricorn's got information right now, and right now the information I got is, like, insane. Anyway, back to this clearing, right? So let me look over this. So somebody was holding out, because that's just how that card always appears right here. But, hmm. It's like this person in red was holding out on this blue dude. But in reality, the blue dude was the victor. Or this red dude thought that holding out would make them a victor. Unfortunately, they're wanting to reach out and communicate because they found that the risks were not worth the effort and energy they put in. Right? Right. So now they're just praying to God, being like, please! Please, God! I didn't know that she was a hoe. <laughs> With their toy in their pocket. And that, like, they're praying because there are things that they're still not enlightened on while they're being tortured, and they're still wondering if they should hang on or not. Sorry, it's hot in my house, and I had to get some water. So this queer is kind of, um... confused about how things have went down. They weren't expecting what they were getting. They're like, that's what... Yeah, that's kind of what I was talking about with the timelines, right? It's, um... It's like the people who made shitty wishes, those wishes are now springing up. It's like whatever people who invested in the wrong thing without actually, like, paying attention to what the wrong thing was, or have been suspecting it but not acting on those wrong things, like, it's finally come up to be like, mm, dude. Shit. All right, so... Six of Pentacles. It's weird that there's like two sixes right here. I'm just gonna put that out there. Even more weirder, this is the only emotional card, and yet it's reversed. Someone's not happy with the wish they made now. Like, might be waiting on something fruitful. Once again, three of wands right here, but not going anywhere towards that fruitfulness, and that's a burden for them. With the Ten of Wands, is just starting. Um. It's like this dude holding out the pentacle who's trying to be the victor right here was waiting for results but the person that they were waiting on kind of ran away and then it, th that waiting became a burden. It's just like me, I'm not telling you anything. <laughs> you know, just ran off, just took up or this person with the, who was giving away this one out of six pentacles decided you know like i'm just gonna wait and see what you do and i'll run away and see if you chase me and now it's like the person who's supposed to be chasing them is made of stone and watching this person carrying a load trying to make themselves look like they're burdened but in reality it's kind of like they got all the power like dude's still in a red shirt he's the one taking the action right all right, the six of wands right here. This person was trying to be a victor. Once again, um, the hierophant. He's in red, too. Now, they also could be like this um, purple and blue, to, or purple and blue, person in blue as well, but I don't think so. Because <clears throat> it's like this person right here. Five, six and then the higher fence already five so they kind of go together but it's almost like they're expecting everybody to worship them but then there's only like a couple people listening to their shit but there's some secrets being kept about an empress who has her back turned to all of this right this person thought they would be a victor um with their established religion uh, but the secret is is that someone's got their back turned completely to that uh shit they're just like, nah, man, nah. And we got the Empress right here, so that could be the person at least, since, you know, for me, blue is femininity. Honestly, it should be red, but I don't think so. But it's kind of like, it's, 
it's almost like they wish they could have established rule here, you know, but nobody's communicating. Well, it's like they expect somebody to come up and worship them like everybody else does, but the secret is they're not. They're just not. They're, they're not. They're just, once again, this person's probably like just sitting wherever they were after they took off, just being like, nah, it's cool. I got birds and shit. There's a big ass tree. I'm not worried about it. Go look at my skull in the water. Or whatever, right? So, their thoughts and feelings have the star. Could be Aquarius, reaching out, communicating, right? Wanting a new cycle somewhere along the way. I should move you over. There you go. Um, but they're taking their own turtle. They're not even leaving the turtle. They're just like, I'm taking this turtle and I'm leaving. Bitch. Um, in order to be in control, like they're a, a, a being childish with their feelings when it comes to this new beginning, because in reality they want all the like. Here's the emperor, and there's the empress. It's like they expect somebody to give them control because they haven't been getting those feelings, or they've been like whatever. It's like they want to communicate. You know what? I'm leaving because of you, and I need something better to do. And you're just not giving me what I want. And you know the empress is down here to be like, okay, I still got birds. Like, like, take your fucking turtle. <laughs> no, I don't give a damn about the turtle. Could be also a Pisces or a Cancer, definitely in this. Libra, Gem, Aquarius, Aries. That's nice. What the hell was that? I don't, even, you know what? I don't know, and no, I don't care. So, <laughs> anyway, I have too much non-space in my house. This risky shit, though, that's the root of this, um, these thoughts and feelings right here. Like, this thing, person thinks that they could communicate. It's almost like they want to communicate, you know, like, no, I'm, I'm starting a new cycle without you. I'm taking my turtle, and I'm going to rule the way I want to, right? It's almost like they want to say that to somebody. You know, switch out one thing for the other, but down here with these risks, it's like they came out of some bullshit. You know, they got fucked up. Like, look at how raggy the, the um M the hermit looks in this. It's just like he went through some shit to get out of those mountains, to come out of his um isolation, and he's coming upon some secrets. These two dogs, because these same dogs are over here. Now they've come out and they want to communicate. Or they've been wanting to communicate because nothing else that they've known has worked. It's like they're taking risks that, uh, that, uh, you know, will carry a lot of baggage right here. It's like they're not paying attention. It's almost like they're not paying attention to what they're doing. It's like they're too focused on somebody else's um, business. Like, the Knight of Swords over here could easily be, like, somebody flying to, like, find out some other information and shit as they run off. Like, they're waiting, but they took off as they waited. Just, like, you know, like, I'm not doing anything. Or they stalled themselves from, like, doing or saying anything. They decided they didn't want to fight. But it's, like, they still want to communicate. You know, I'm not going to wait for you because I'm going to establish my own rule. But that's only because like nothing else that they've tried to do in their risky situations has worked. It's like, it's it's almost like they tried doing some shady shit to get this empress to turn around. And when that didn't work, they just decided, you know, I'm just going to start a new cycle. I'm going to be bitter, take my fucking turtle, and then, you know, I'm, I'm going to win. I'm going to be the ruler. I'm going to be the one who dominates. And it's just like, um... I don't know if that's how it works, man. I'm, I'm just letting you know. I'm not sure if that's how it works. I don't I don't think you could just be all mad and upset <laughs> when you don't get what you want and then, like, act like it's cool that you didn't get what you wanted. Like, it was what you wanted to begin with because obviously it wasn't. But, you know, who knows about this querent, right? It's it, That's just them. So we got the Nine of Cups over here. Ooh. Whatever they wished for gave them a lot of insecurities. Or their insecurities are hollow. 
they just don't realize it. Like, holding shit to their chest too close. Um, thinking they have the right judgment. Or they believe that they're going to be... Or they believe that they're being judged. Hmm. It's almost like they're insecure about how they're going to be perceived. Or, you know... It's like they're terrified of, um... Let me look at these the other way. It's like... If they were hoping for a resurrection between the relationship, between them and you, or you and them, however you want to look at it, the spirit is seeing that, uh, this shit's now empty and they've been feeding into something that's left them empty on the inside. That was their hubris. It's just like, they're, they're pretending to be secure became their reality. Like, okay. Pretend life is a simulation, right? Like a video game. Because, you know, that's technically what I believe all this shit is. I think we're all in a video game. Mind you, I lost the game, and so have you. You're welcome. Anyway, but it's like... This person decided to put in a... Uh, what is it? Like, a prompt. You know, like, you get three choices to pick from. You can do this, you can do that, or you can do the other. And they chose the other. But they didn't realize that, like, this was a game where, like, your actions actually changed the outcome of the video game. So they got, like, a shitty ending. One that they weren't expecting. And it's like they, it was like they already knew that was how it was going to end. But they were still shocked at how it would end. Like, it's almost like they're still fucking surprised that, like, things came up the way that they did. That's why their vibrations like that. So now we got the higher effect. Once again, Taurus, which is also down here. Great. Right? It's like they wanted to establish their rule and be the person who made the morals or some shit. Which is just like, okay, whatever, man. You live up to that hypocrisy. You know, I, I wouldn't try to establish my morals on anybody. Like, I'll tell the people, hey, I think you're fucking wrong. You know, but I wouldn't try to be like, you know, like, you need to do things this way because that's how God wants it to do, or that's how society expects it, because that's what that card's for. Like, standard society. He's got one eye open and one eye closed. It's lazy eye, so it's just kind of like, hmm. Also, he's the only one in this deck whose um, outfit is colored, but his face and his innards are like... pretty much the same color. Like, even all these other ones, like this one, even though you don't see his other face, you can tell that, like, they definitely have a, uh, well, yeah, you can't see his other face, and it's up here looking all weird and shit, but still, it's like, um, this is the only person here whose face is completely black. So it's this, like, really, really deep, dark, spiritual, um, inner energy, inside and outside. Or they're evil, whatever one you want to choose. <laughs> I mean, it is Taurus's card, after all. I love you, Taurus. I promise. You know? Oh, Lord. This person's begging the God because, you know, they cause the law. Like, oh, my God. Six of Wands is down here as well. Okay. This person originally thought that they were going to get a victory. Um, holding out, waiting, running away, pretending that they're the one burden when the other person's, like, made a stone and fucking stuck. Yeah, being like, you're supposed to help me. How can you just stand there and watch me suffer? I'm a statue. And I can't talk. I, like, I don't move. I don't have mouth. I don't have any of that shit. You know? Like, like what do you want me to... I, like, I can hold the stuff for you? If you put it between my legs? Because I am a statue. Um, but I, but I really can't help you. In fact, I think it's weird that you think that you are hearing me talk to you right now. When it's all in your head. Well, even if you are a statue, you should still have... Like, you know, it's like they don't understand that, like, pretending to be burdened is not... That's that's their hubris. It's like they wanted to look weak. So they got their wish. <laughs> they got made weak. And now I, nobody likes them. <laughs> it could be a Taurus, like, but I don't know. It's like the person who tries to set the rules. Or set what is, um... What, it's almost like they want to be like, it's my way or the highway. Because Taurus can be like that too. Like, a Taurus will bully you if they don't like what you're doing. And, like, okay, one time, 
I was riding the car with my sister, and I went to put the purse down, and she was just like, what are you doing? The purse does not go on the floor. And I just looked at her, and then I put it in my lap, and she was like, thank you. Can I put it in the back seat? No? Why would you do that? Okay. You know. Uh, like, tourists can be like that. <laughs> tourists can very much be like that, but I appreciate that, because at least they tell you exactly, like, you know, what's up. But this person... Um, kind of pushed the rule so much that everyone was just like, you know, like, fuck it, we're all atheists now. Like, we listen to niche. And, or niche, I don't, I don't know what that, is it niche? Or niche? Or something, I don't know. Either way, they had a bunch of people either come against them or come against the person they thought, like, made into an enemy, um, hated, all of that shit in an effort to look once again nine of pentacles a lot of cards are repeating like that was one of, that was one of the first cards where we could tell what the parent was you know huh it's like they feel betrayed and they can't let their guard down like they want to let their guard down but it's like as soon as they let their guard down that's when the betrayal is going to come you know, but that's because they've been focused so much on, um, their own money that they didn't real like, it, it's like, um, like this person's trying to go because people are coming after them. They're trying to be secure with their money in a very logical sense. Like it makes them old, possibly a little bit bitter with the queen of swords, right? Libra, Gemini, Aquarius once again. Definitely could be an air sign. Hmm. Weird. It's like they started out with the nine of pentacles being all happy and sweet. And being like, I love life. I got so much. And then they ended up as the queen of swords living in a freaking mountain holding the sword up looking all old and shit and be like i will cut the next bitch who says moist in front of me <laughs> you know like it's weird ten of swords like that's what they're dealing with with this hierophant right here it's like they're trying to it, it's it's almost like they're really shocked everybody came against them instead of came with them as rule. It's like they were holding out thinking like, oh, I can establish this rule if I keep holding out and shit. But instead, it, it did the exact opposite. It made them kind of bitter and old and like ready to go after anybody or cut anything out that interferes with like whatever they think it is. Now, Ten of Swords right here, there's somebody who... They feel like they don't have a chance beating because, you know, I'm figuring this person's the one in red. And it might be this blue person or the empress, as I would like to refer to it. They might feel like they can't defeat this person like they thought that they could. Mainly because, like, they aren't even sure if the love is there anymore. Like, bitch isn't even looking that direction. Or maybe it's because they decided not to give their love away or kept their love so in the dark that it, the other person decided, you know what? Nah. I, I'm not the type to go chasing after people. You want me, you earn me. As it should be. Hmm. Once again, Earth sign. Definitely could be Taurus, you know? But it's like, um... The person who they wanted to come running up so they could, like, because this bitch has got her head turned. She's already made of a statue, right? So it's not like she's going to move any more than this person, but it's like she acts like she's stone, like she doesn't have any feeling and she's cares. So when this person comes up, it'll be like, oh, I, I don't want you. I'm happier without you, right? But this is reversed. And this dude right here, King of Pentacles, is now looking at this bitch like she's a fucking buffalo. While he steadily but surely gains his money. This person feels defeated because the other person just <laughs> looks at him like they're a fucking buffalo. Like they're an animal. Wow, that's kind of harsh, guys. Really? Like, do we do we have to really insult people like that? Sorry, I'm talking to my guides right now, and they're kind of being, like... I don't know. They're It's like they're on edge tonight, and I don't know why. 
like either they're frustrated with this person or I don't know. But it, it's I don't know. They, like animal is like really harsh, guys. I'm just saying, like let's let's at least have some manners in the house. You know. Not that I don't agree, but you know. <laughs> Like, let's be a little bit nicer, please. You know, I'll drop one more just in case. But yeah, this person kind of looks at this other person like they're an animal. But they also recognize that they're two very completely different people. One is of Earth and one is of air. So it's kind of like, nah. Like, we don't... Wait, we, we agree to disagree. As far away from each other as possible, right? That's it, like, it, almost like they're a wounded animal. Like, this person wants to establish a rule, but this person is just like, I'm like a bird, I want to fly away. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm soaring. But there's a Mickey D's. I'm getting me an Oreo flurry. Oh, God, that actually sounds delicious. Malachi, why are you doing this to me, man? Shit. Okay. Three of wands, right? Ooh, all three. Ooh, all three came out. This person wants to wait, or they're trying to figure out what to wait, but it's like they can't make a decision because it's too much for them. It's like they're so indecisive on like trying to have this victory, or actually trying to actually think about why their risky fucking business did not work. It's almost like they're finally realizing why the communication wouldn't work, and it's because of their own indecisive actions. Uh, too scared to face the devil. Could be Capricorn or a Leo right here. And when they try to sneak off to end things, like, they kind of fell in a hole. And it was like the dot dot, right? So let us see. This person is rather odd, I have to say. This parent is. Uh, third party situation led to a breakup, but they still feel like things aren't quite dead yet. Like, they got unfinished business before they can pass over. The Wheel of Fortune is turning, though. And they definitely want to move on to calmer waters since the stuff won't die between them and the person of their choice, right? But they're really, really bitter and having kind of a fit. Like, they're throwing the tantrum and looking back being like, I hate you! so freaking much like they want to start an argument or something you know how and get this person to let their guard down and be like huh what the fuck did you just say to me you animal <laughs> you know trying to make this empress uh, reverse be bitter but she's not coming to argue once again knight of swords um now she's not like like okay if this was the twin flame runner and chaser thing this would be what it is. This person ran away thinking like someone was going to chase after them or some shit. I'm not fucking entirely sure. But it seems like they thought that like running away from the person they obviously cared about the most. Or maybe they're making a choice between the lovers. Could be a Gemini as well. As well as this, right? But it's almost like they were the runner. And then after they realize, like, this person wasn't going to chase after them, they want to be the chaser now, but they're doing it in a really fucked up way where, like, they're not going to go chasing after the person as much as they're just going to start cursing about them really loud so everybody can hear to try to get their attention. Trying to cause things to work out between them. Trying to manifest that shit, right? Because, once again, they're really insecure completely unhappy and don't know how to take a leap of faith to what it is they're trying to do. Um, I feel like their wish fulfillment right here was terribly, terribly, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 there really wasn't, like, the pa it, like, a lot of patience was required for this. They were trying to be patient, but it's, it, but it's kind of like, you know, I don't know. They think being patient is, um, going to work in their favor. And it's not. It's, it's not. There's still not going to be any communication here. Because they still need to make a choice. Um, which is to end all the freaking conflict. You know, stop being petty. 
Um, especially about whatever secrets are going around. Could be Pisces, Cancer, and maybe, just maybe, they'll be happy again. But they gotta think of the karma or do the right thing. Hmm. It's like they know that doing the right thing would bring them happiness. Interesting query. I'll pull like three more and then that's it. Because, you know, I'm rambling way too much as it is. Now, they still love this person. They still want a connection. Now, this dude's reaching over to her cup and she's just like, boy, if you drink more than like a sip, I won't drink more than a sip. I mean it. You got your own, you know. <laughs> you know, they still care, but they're still plagued greatly by this relationship and probably how they... You know, especially with this dude right here, especially how they behaved and how they took so much while this bitch is just giving her to even look like I told you not to drink more than a sip. You know? Like, ah. <laughs> like, that was my favorite drink, too. I'll get you some more. Never got her some more. Did you eat my sandwich? No, you're the only one who lives here. You better not say no. Probably. You know, thinking about how they took so much but never gave to the other person who gave. It kind of bothers them a little bit, you know? Because they know that they're the reason why the person went away. Damn, that's harsh, man. I told you guys to be a little nice tonight. Like, Jesus. Ugh. That is very harsh for this person. That's sad, too, right? But it happens. Anyway... So, this is the reading for tonight. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. No pressure, of course. It's all up to you. But I love you guys. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.